Hey there, fellas. I've got a question for y'all. Are you terrible at driving cars? And I always end up with your car being in an absolute abhorrent state. And you thought to yourself that enough is enough, and you must train mechanics to repair your now absolutely destroyed car, but have no basic idea on how to do that. Well, luckily for you, I'm here to teach you those set basics on how to train mechanics in Project Zomboid. But before we happen to learn some basics of what makes a skill tick and how to train it, I would like to remind you to grab yourself some mechanic skill books from local bookstores or a school library, if there are any of these two near you, of course. And grab yourself some tools that you will need to replace and tinker with some car parts with. Those tools being a screwdriver, a wrench, a jack, lug wrench, and a tire pump. All of these tools can be found in car repair shops, hardware stores, and also sometimes in garages and random car trunks. After you grab all these tools and books and whatnot, we are still missing something. And it's a car to work on. You can find a car anywhere really, all in different shapes and conditions. Though I would mostly recommend searching for one in many parking lots near lots of points of interest spread out throughout many towns on the map. After you find yourself a suitable specimen that you won't be using to more on the map with, open up its hood. Once you do, you'll be met with this big window with all the information regarding the car you're working with, be it its horsepower, weight, condition of all the parts it's got, and what type of parts these set parts are. Now to get XP, you have to try to remove the parts of all the car. You can do that by right-clicking on any of the parts listed on the window and clicking on Install. Now, if your mechanic skill is very low, you will fail many times and damage your car part you trying to remove. And that's okay, as that's one of the main ways to train the skill early on, besides the car's own reach escapes, which I will discuss in just a moment. Now sure, after you tinker and ruin the living crap out of some random car to train mechanics a bit, you realize that you are barely getting any XP from all this car torture. And you're probably telling me, I'm barely getting any XP from this shit. Can I get something real quick and easy to get my level 2 mechanics? Well, yes I do. And that's cars on VHS tapes. These VHS tapes can be found in any VHS store, gas station, and if you're lucky enough, even some random houses. After you find these tapes, you will need another thing to make use of those VHS tapes. And that's either a Wallotech TV or a modern TV. If you have either of those, just right click on the TV and click device options. After that, a window will pop up with all the options for the TV and whatnot. I will suggest you just go into your inventory and drag the VHS tape from there into this box here on the window and click play. And after that, just sit down and watch the show for all that sweet XP. And they say TV rots your brain. Bunch of crazies, I tell ya. Anyway, now, after you gain all that XP and whatnot, you actually want to repair your own car so you can finally get back on the road with a mean condition of vehicle, right? Well, first, we gotta identify what type of a car we are working with. Then brings us back to old car's repair window, here where all the information is, right here in the top middle part of this window, so there will be some info regarding what type of a vehicle your car is. My car here is a heavy duty vehicle. Therefore, I need heavy-duty parts for it. I can get those parts from vans, pickup trucks, and SUVs like mine. Knowing this, I'll just go to some random van or a truck or whatever and steal a better higher condition parts for my car and install those parts I took into it and after I'm done with this whole process, it's as good as new. Though it seems to still have some strawberry jam on it. I'll just, you know, clean up this mess and I will be back with you in just a moment. There we go, it's actually as good as new. I reckon it's, you know, time for me to get back on the road now. Well, Platz, this is all for the video today. My apologies if this guy wasn't as informative as the ones before it. As, you know, I was trying out a different format for this video, if that makes sense, of course. If that didn't bother you though, and you still like this guide, I would be very thankful if you would like this video and subscribe to my channel. And just in case you want to help me out improve my content, you can leave some feedback in the comments for that. Anyway, with all this YouTube mumbo jumbo out of the way, I fear it is time for me to say goodbye. I wish you all a great day.